Hey, what is up guys? It's Section X Gameplay bringing you an awesome Black Ops 2 custom map idea that I like to call Tombstone. Yes guys, we're going to the Old West. I love the Old West, you love the Old West, they love the Old West. It's anarchy, it's crazy. Um, if you do not know what Tombstone is and you're thinking, hmm, what is this? Is it like a grave? No guys, Tombstone is a town in Arizona that's famous for its cowboys and Old West themes and stuff like that. They did make a movie about the town and what it is most famous about is, uh, well, what it's most famous for is the Earp brothers, like Wyatt Earp and his brothers and the gang and stuff like that and the amazing fights that went on there and I'm not completely sure so I'm just gonna keep scrambling on with this stuff like that but in Black Ops 2 we did get to see something that was weird like horses uh, like uh, back in the 80s I guess where uh, Woods was riding a horse and they were in the desert so I kinda thought why don't we make something out of this and I came up with Tombstone, and you guys are just going to love it because it's epic and awesomeness. Okay, guys, so since this map takes place in the Old West, there's going to be a lot of Old West-themed stuff. So all the guns are going to be old, like muskets and stuff like that. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure about a musket, maybe not. Uh, I know there's going to be, like, Winchester rifles and Colts and revolvers and uh, maybe even, like, knives. That'd be so cool, melee weapon knives, you know, like that. So maybe a machete. I don't know if they had machetes back then, but who cares, man? Who cares? It's zombies. It's going to be epic. It's going to be fun. Um, the zombies are also going to be cowboys. Cowboy zombies? Hex, you're crazy. You can't do that. Like, dude, I just did it. And guess what? Even oriental zombies, because they were there building the railroads. Oh, my God. I finally said that correctly. That's awesome. I feel, I feel smart. I'm a scholar. Read me a book now. No? Okay, back to the map. Um, yes, uh, I actually thought of a great idea. What if there was actually a cool, like, uh, railroad station there? So, maybe you get to, uh, interact with the train or something like that? But the map's gonna be huge, guys. I had, like, the greatest freaking ideas for this. And I'm actually gonna post some pictures about, uh, Tombstone. I'm gonna find some, put them in there. You guys are gonna see them right now. And it's gonna be epic. But let's get started on the epic perk, wonder weapons, bosses, traps, and anything like that, because it's sweet, and you're watching Hex Gameplay, it's, it's amazing! Ooh, oh my god, I actually came across this uh, page on Wikipedia for Tombstone, and uh, there's all these like different like areas of the town that I want to like read off to you guys, because this totally expanded on my idea and made it completely awesome. Um, there's some kind of like entrance to a mine, they call it the Shifen? Shifen? What kind of- who, who names these mines? Like, oh, this mine will be called Shifen, and this mine over there will be called Bill. Why'd you call it Bill? I don't know, man. I just came up with a good name for this mine. Shifen! Alright, but, uh, you'll see the pictures as I name off these places. So we've got the Shifen mines, and, uh, the next picture is this underground, like, kind of, like, tunnel, and that would make it perfectly awesome. I think that would be awesome as well. Um, there's also the Campbell and Hatch Billiard Parlor, so I'm guessing that's kind of like a gaming place. Um, I, it even says that Morgan Earp was shot there, that's kind of cool. Uh, Sheafen Hall, where, another Sheafen, I guess. There's a Sheafen Hall here. Um, there's also the Tombstone, uh, Tombstone Courthouse and the historic Tombstone City Hall, so that should be in the map as well. We've got the Big Nose Kate Saloon. Oh my god. How perfect would that be for zombies? Okay, Big Nose Kate Saloon in the map. Definitely awesome. The next one is also going to be in the map because it's pretty sick and you guys are going to love it. It's called the Crystal Palace. So I'm guessing this is where the guys went and uh, paid for some, uh, you know, lady favors. You know what I'm saying? Wink, wink, wink. So we've got the Crystal Palace, Big Nose Kate Saloon. And now we've got the Burge Cade, no, Bird Cage Theater. So I'm guessing uh, this is not having to do with like ladies getting naked or anything like that. So maybe movies. Yes, um, yeah, movies. There you go. And the entrance to Boot Hill Graveyard. Now that's a pretty good idea because I actually thought that the zombies would rise out of their graves. And like, oh, what if zombies actually carried guns? How amazing would that be? Like, I want a challenge like that. Zombies are now carrying guns. Sorry, you lose. Zombies carry guns. Goodbye. You know, I'm like really obsessed with that name now. Like, I'm just gonna call everything Sheefen. Hello, Sheefen. Sheefen Queefen. 
face palm because that was a bad idea to say. So guys, I created this uh, new thing that I want to do for each map now. It's a little storyline that I've created to uh, help you guys imagine the maps a little more and uh, help you give an idea for it. So here's uh, the storyline and I hope you guys enjoy. After escaping Max's mansion, the original characters are transported through time to unfamiliar territory. They arrive in the infamous town of Tombstone, where the Wild West has become even more dangerous as hordes of dead cowboys rise from their graves. Seek shelter in the saloon, city hall, or the not-so-safe underground mines, but beware high noon as you, one of you must face the legendary White Earp in a duel to the death. Can you survive a night in Tombstone? Well, what did you guys think? Did you like it? Did it help you imagine the uh, the map a little more? Uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think about these things, and uh, here we go with the new perk idea, guys. Awesome! Okay, stay with me now, but this has got to be like the, the best perk idea that I've ever come up with, guys. You guys are going to simply love it, and I'm going to call it Wet Your Whistle. And what this allows you to do is whistle, and it calls in your horse. And uh, just stay with me, guys. You guys are going to really love this. Since there's no like transportation here, and I'm not going to give you like a carriage to ride around in, that would be kind of stupid. And it's not there's not going to be any teleporters because obviously we haven't gotten to that point of time where teleporters have been created. So what what your whistle does is it allows you to call on your horse, and uh, if you do this in like a sticky situation where zombies are surrounding you, you whistle, the horse comes in, you jump on top of it, and it takes you to another part of the map. And while the uh, horse comes to get you, it tramples all the zombies in your way. But you cannot get off the horse until you reach a certain point in the map. So it keeps going from one direction to another to another until it circles the map. So you can choose to be dropped off at a certain point in the map, but not until you get to that certain point. But uh, hopefully, you know, I'm not really sure what I'm going to, like, price it. I mean, it's a great perk. I mean, you guys are probably going to really love it. And I love the name, Wet Your Whistle. It's totally with that time period and it has to do with whistling for your horse but I am going to maybe make it cost about six thousand it sounds reasonable because I mean it really helps you out in sticky uh, sticky situations and it's very useful and uh, I think you guys would really enjoy this and if they ever made a wild west uh, map that would be the perfect perk give this video a like guys because that was freaking awesome alright let's get down to the boss guys as you uh, heard in the premise it's about Wyatt Earp guys so Wyatt Earp is going to be our awesome boss he is back from the dead he is a zombie and he is awesome and he's gonna shoot your face off it's gonna be sick so I had the idea that when uh, it reaches high noon you know how uh, two cowboys would come out and they just do a Mexican standoff and shoot each other till one of them's dead so I thought there'd be a perfect boss round guys so every five rounds one person has to be elected to face Wyatt Earp so you have to choose between yourselves the round won't continue until you choose one of the players to face off against White Earp. But what you do is that uh, it's it's just basically a Mexican standoff. If you kill White Earp, which is probably the best place to shoot him is probably in the head because it's a zombie, take out the brain, dead zombie, no more zombie. But if you beat him, you get a max ammo and you get a bonfire cell, guys. And if you don't know what a bonfire cell is, it appeared in 5 and it lowers the pack-a-punch amount that uh, takes to upgrade a gun. And I think that would be perfect. But if the character dies, another player has to take his place, and uh, so on and so on and so on. If nobody beats him, I say the round, the game isn't over. I just say uh, he takes away one gun from each player. So I think that would be pretty cool. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, even come up with your own boss and your own perk. Okay, guys, let's talk about the two final things for this uh, map. Uh, they are the Wonder Weapon and the Equipment. For the Wonder Weapon, it is going to be called the Old Betsy, and I love that name, it's so freaking sweet. The gun is a Colt 1851, and I want it to have a similar effect to the original pistol, like in Kino and 5. And instead of shooting grenades, I want it to shoot cannonballs. Giant cannonballs out of this small little gun. I think it would be so funny and epic and sick. So once this gun shoots the cannonball, I want it to just detonate, killing up to like maybe 6 zombies at a time. And I think it would be so freaking sweet, similar to the Mustang and Sally. But uh, when you upgrade it, I'm going to call that one the Sweet Sally. And that is a great name as well. It is a Colt Model 1860. And since a lot of these guns relied on black powder, I wanted to add that effect as well. So what this gun does when it's upgraded, and it does become dual wield, I want it to shoot 
acidic black powder. Almost, if you guys have ever seen Lost, you know what that black monster is? I wanted to shoot something similar to like that black monster and just spray everywhere, killing all the zombies and just dissolving them. I think that would be amazing and hope that you guys actually like that. For the equipment, I am going to have to say I wanted a lasso in there, but I didn't think a lasso would do anything about it. I mean, you can't just lasso a zombie and then swing him around your head and go, Yeehaw! Goodbye, zombie! No. So I created something called Razor Lassos. Um, and Razor Lassos would be found on the walls and stuff like that. So what you do is you throw the Razor Lasso at a zombie, and you can cut it in half, creating a crawler, or it or it instantly, uh, instantly kills a zombie. So it's almost like a grenade. Maybe it'll kill a zombie, maybe it won't. Uh, but it will cut in half and create a crawler. Uh, the final thing I wanted, I wanted a melee weapon that you guys really enjoy. And since a lot of stuff back then had to do with, like, cattle, I want a cattle iron. So you can go, like, brand zombies. I mean, come on, who, who doesn't want to brand a zombie? I do. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this map. Uh, leave an awesome comment, like this video. And if you haven't already heard, I am on King of the Web running for Gaming King. And if you guys want to help me out, go do that. I will leave a link in the description below this video. And if you want to subscribe to my second channel, that would really help me out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Hex, and you're watching Hex Gameplay. Peace out.